Will cayenne pepper keep the cats off my property? We're fixing to find out. <coughs> this will be my third attempt trying to keep the cats off my back deck. I've tried soap, Irish spring soap. I tried just raw vinegar, well, plain vinegar. And today we're gonna to try cayenne pepper. That idea came from one of my subscribers. At least I hope he's a subscriber. But before we get started, I wanna talk about a few things. I think I might have an idea of what, what keep them off without using anything at all. Do you see that? That was a butterfly, I think. I had a comment back a couple weeks ago, actually maybe not that long, and it says, if you move the bird feeders, the cats will stay away. At least you won't have to worry about them dying. Well guys, we've been out of bird seed now for a couple days. The bird feeders over here are completely empty. Every so often we might get a bird over here checking for a little bit of scrap, but we've not bought any bird seed. To be truthful, it's my daughter that keeps that feeds the birds. She likes the bird feeders right where they're at. That way she can see them from her bedroom window. My daughter will spend easily over a hundred dollars in bird seed alone. Right now she's a little tapped out, so she hasn't been able to buy any bird seed. And since we have not put any bird seed out here in the last couple days, nobody's seen the cats. Hmm. About a half an hour ago when I was having lunch, I did see one of the I seen one of the gray cats laying in the backyard. I don't know, are they out there now looking for the birds? <laughs> Let's hope they leave the deer alone. But yeah, since we've not been able to put bird seed in the bird feeders, nobody's seen the cats on the back deck. So maybe that might keep them away. I don't know. We're still going to try the cayenne pepper. We're still hoping maybe this evening it will come up. This is the first take on this video. I won't be putting any cayenne pepper or anything out until this evening. Then I'll go ahead and get my GoPro white out, set it up, and watch and see if I catch the cat going underneath my seats right there, the blue ones. That's where it likes to hang. And I was thinking, look at the indoor cat that hangs right there in the window and drives her nuts. I was thinking that, but technically the cat, I, from what my wife thinks, has been hiding underneath there when the birds come up and get the bird seed and yes, birds go down on the deck too because the dubs like to feed on the deck and that's when the cat's been going after them. Maybe the cat ain't going after the indoor cat at all. Now, if this stuff does work, I think it may, believe it or not. If it does work, I'm only going to try it underneath the blue benches, okay? I'm only trying it there because that's where the cat likes to lay. Let's say it does work. And, um, okay, this works. Where the heck am I going to put it? Because a big wind comes, it's going to blow this stuff off. And I don't want to have to sprinkle this stuff all over my deck because this stuff ain't cheap. Plus, I don't want to use too much of it because I like putting this on my hamburgers. <laughs> Just saying. But I was told to use cayenne pepper. It's a brand new bottle. And that should keep the cats away. We're going to give it a try. All right, guys, I'll be back this evening. When I put this stuff stuff down underneath the bench, we'll sprinkle it all over under the bench. Then we'll get it set up and let's see if we can catch a cat. If no cats come, does that mean this worked? Not necessarily. It might be because we're out of bird seed too. Yeah, so this may be a failed attempt. All right guys, I see you in about four hours. Okay, it's 5.15 in the evening now. Well, some people just call it late afternoon. I usually don't say it's evening till about six anyway, but guys, I'm gonna get the cayenne pepper down. I can't videotape this one. It'd be too hard to hold the camera and just shake that sucker. Only, just trust me, I ain't gonna be able to show it. Trust me, they will be cayenne, cayenne pepper there. That I promise you. Then I get the bowl and put the GoPro on it and then I watch and hopefully a cat shows. But I'm thinking the cat may not. Cause there is no more bird seed and there ain't many birds on this back deck right now. None, I've seen. But we're gonna try anyway, man. All right guys, catch you in a little bit. We'll see what we can do. If I can't get it today, I will try it tomorrow. Yeah, 
So this may be a continuance video. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Okay, it's the very next day, man. Okay, I put down the cayenne pepper. I put down the cayenne pepper, as you can see now. I put quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of it down. I put it underneath the bench. That's where the cats like to come and lay. And then I got my GoPro white hooked up, went inside and watched it on my iPad. I must have watched that video and uh, listened to the TV for about two and a half hours and I dozed off for five minutes. My wife literally had to pick up the iPad, turn it off because the battery on the GoPro white was getting ready to die. And guys, I thought today's video I would make, today I honestly thought, uh, oh boy, you ain't gonna believe this. I was starting to think since there ain't no birds on the back deck because we don't have no more bird seed, the cats ain't coming back. I was wrong. This morning, early this morning, I seen the cat underneath the bench. I'm gonna run that footage now. This footage was got on my handheld. You gotta remember, it was early this morning. I went and grabbed the handheld, got on my hands and knees, and peeked around my chair so I wouldn't scare it away. And I tried to get the best shot as I could. You know, zooming in through the window and out here. So we're gonna run that footage now. Don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's the cat. And the cayenne pepper, the cayenne pepper is all over the ground. This is very early, and I have to t explain why I'm getting a video of the cat underneath there like this later on today. But yeah, this is the cat, and the pepper did not face it whatsoever. I hope you can see. I have to shoot this through the window because if I get up, he's going to move. All right. We'll talk to you guys in about an hour or two. As you can see, even if there ain't no birds here, it's not stopping the cat. The cayenne pepper did no damn good. Guys, this was my third attempt trying to keep the cats off my back deck. Well, guess what? It's my last time. They can have it. That's right. I will relocate the bird feeders and they can lay underneath this all they want. As far as the indoor cat goes, I guess she just has to get used to it. Guys, I tried soap, ivory, Irish spring soap. I tried vinegar for God's sakes. I tried cayenne pepper. Now I could try other things. I can easily order something off Amazon that's made for this, but I don't think anything's gonna work, y'all. That cat literally was laying down on the cayenne pepper. It had no, it didn't phase it whatsoever. So if that didn't work, the vinegar didn't work. The Irish Spring soap didn't work, which everybody online swore to that one. Nothing will. Nothing will. So guess what? The cat's earned its right to lay underneath my uh, my bench. As far as the bird feeders go, let me turn around here. The next couple of days, before Elizabeth buys some more bird seed, I will pretty much kind of relocate them. I ain't figured that out yet. So guys, the cat's won. I won't be doing no more experience, experiments from here on out. The cat earned the right to be on my back deck. I mean, come on. These three things wouldn't keep it away. I don't think anything will. It was sleeping too. Yeah. When uh, I got the camera out, that dirt thing was snoozing. All right, guys, that's been it. I'm beat. The cats beat me. And since that happened, they won. I will not throw a hissy fit no more. They can lay underneath here all they want. As a matter of fact, I might even put a bed down. As far as the indoor cats go, as far as the indoor cat goes, she just has to get used to it. And if she's uh, staring out the window, we just gotta be cautious so she don't attack us. Bird feeders, I would figure that out next couple of days or maybe weeks, I don't know. My daughter likes looking at them from where they're at. So maybe I figure that out. Until next time, guys, I got beat. Now the cat earned the right to be on my back deck. Come on, let's get out of here. We'll catch you in a couple days.